Hi, I'm Street, and I'm Slim. Welcome to Sunny Virginia, and welcome to the Fisher Video Manuals. My buddy Slim here was kind enough to share one of his sites with us today, in uh, some of the most beautiful country you're ever going to see any place. It's a gorgeous area in Central Virginia. We want to spend a few minutes today and talk to you about some of Fisher's latest offerings. We'll probably start out with the Fisher F75, their flagship detector, which is my personal machine of choice, and then we'll move on to the F70, which is a fantastic companion and backup machine, in my opinion, to the F75. And then we're going to show you their latest offering, the Fisher F5, which is a nice mid-range, mid-price, very powerful, high-performing machine as well. So take a couple minutes, grab yourself a cold drink, sit back, put your feet up, because we're going to we're gonna go through these one by one, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to give you a little bit of understanding of what's in the manual, how to interpret the stuff, and how to get the most out of your new fisher. Let's do it. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to the F75 portion of Fisher's video manual series. We're going to take a few minutes, and we're going to show you this machine in its entirety, top to bottom, and describe all the features, benefits, how it works, the accessory coils that are available, and what you can expect when you buy this machine, get it home, and get it out of the box. We're basically trying to supplement the manual and show you some things hands-on so you can understand them a little bit better. The F75 comes with an 11-inch open frame elliptical double-D coil. It's super ground coverage, very good depth, and super separation on targets. You have a standard three-piece rod, breaks down, goes in your luggage easy, great for traveling. The battery case is in the rear under your arm, which adds to the ergonomics, balances the machine out better. Comes standard, four alkaline batteries, gets phenomenal life, minimum of 30 hours, probably it'll get you closer to 40 hours before you have to change your batteries. Very economical to run. Headphone jack is in the rear, keeps your headphone cord off your elbow, out of your way. That's where every jack should be, in my opinion. Comes with a fully adjustable armrest. And it also has two coils available with it. It has a standard 9-inch concentric elliptical. And it also has a little 6-inch concentric elliptical coil. Two uh, essential coils for this machine. It makes it well-rounded, adaptable, to take in the virtually any environment you want to take it into. So anyhow, let's take a couple minutes, get a close-up on the screen, and show you just what it does when you go through the menus, all the various settings, and different processes, things of that nature. So come on, we'll get a little bit closer and have a look at it. Okay, we're all set up here on the table right now, and what we'd like to do is go through the screens, go through all the settings, one at a time, and explain to you what they do. We'll turn the machine on, we might wave a couple uh, targets in front of the coil, let, let you hear the responses, and uh, give you an idea how this machine works, and actually how, how truly easy it is to use an F75. We're going to go ahead and turn it on here. You see when it, when it starts up, you get, it's, actually, it's a segment test is what it is. You see an F on the screen and both the segments on either side. Your uh, FE304 meter and your confidence meter will go all the way to the top. Now, if you look on the screen, you'll notice that one of the uh, sections or descriptions is illuminated. And if you push the red button, you'll notice that it scrolls down through the menu. When you get to a certain point, if you flick it over, you can get down through the right-hand side of the menu, which is essentially all metal modes and settings and things like that. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's go back to the discriminant side. Now your first adjustment is sensitivity. Probably out of the box for the first couple of weeks you use this machine, you're probably going to want to leave it at this stock sensitivity. Or if you're hunting in mineralized soil or extremely heavy trash, things of that nature. Uh, and again, push the button. That'll hide eye up, and if you want to change the setting, all you do is roll the knob up or down. And you can see the sensitivity setting going up there. Uh, once you become familiar with this machine and more confident with it, you can actually run quite high sensitivity settings for maximum depth and, sen and sensitivity. 